I feel really dumb that I didn't know this before. Ball bearings are precisely machined instruments with no play. And if there's no play, then how do they get the balls in? To find out, I 3D printed an Ugga Dugga size ball bearing. Bearings of this size actually exist in real life, and I see machine shops posting assembly videos all the time. It's really easy to get the balls in place when they're loose like this, but there's no guarantee they're not just going to spill out at any moment. The thing that I feel stupid for not knowing is that there's a ball bearing carrier that actually sits on top of the bearing balls and keeps them evenly spaced as well as prevents them from sliding out of the housing. The two have sandwich on top of each other, and then normally a spot welder would be used to keep them secure. I didn't have one, obviously, and it wouldn't work with plastic anyway, so instead I just used a bunch of M3 screws. The ball carrier has a perfectly spherical profile that keeps these balls perfectly in place, separated, and contacted between the ball carrier and the inner and the outer races. The bearing I made is low precision, it's 3D printed, it's not lubricated, but it still works surprisingly well and is really fun to play with. Adding a little bit of WD-40 makes it even better, smoother, and more satisfying. Just listen to how fun this thing is to play with.